So we're just on the walk to Al Tumama Stadium, going to be going to the Qatar Senegal match that's happening here at 4 p.m. And uh, after taking the Red Line subway, you have to then take a bus that drops you off at a stop in what's seemingly like a, just a regular residential neighborhood. Kind of out in the middle of the desert, honestly. And uh, then you have like a, I don't know how many kilometer walk basically to get to the actual stadium. So it's a little interesting. This is a much different experience than any of the other stadiums. Most of the other stadiums, if not all of them, are pretty well at the end of, a, or at a, at a subway stop or at the very end of one of the three different subway lines. You have the green line, the red line, and the gold line. And the green line tends to go east-west, goes all the way west out to uh, uh, Al Rifa Mall of Qatar, which is where Canada's first game was. Uh, and then the Green Line went all the way to where I was staying for the first bit here, Al Mansura, uh, through the M Shareb uh, main hub station. And then uh, Gold Line, if I recall, goes kind of southwest to northeast. Uh, and then finally, this Red Line goes all the way out to. Al Janoub Stadium where I was the other day plus the Al Tumama Stadium but it's a bit of a weirder situation and then uh, all the way out east to Husail which is Husail Stadium which is like the big main stadium where the World Cup Finals going to be played I haven't been there yet but I have a match coming up that's going to be at Husail so I'm really looking forward to being at that one but it is sunny 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 out I don't know if I'm catching the sun in that shot or not. <laughs> Maybe I can get it in the background here. But anyway, it's crazy. It's like 35 degrees out, blaring sun. And with this bleached out and red hair, I'm sure my scalp's gonna be the same color in about 10 minutes. So hopefully we get there sooner rather than later. You can hear drumming of all the Senegalese already outside of the stadium. It's probably not coming through this, but it's, uh, definitely getting louder and louder as we're getting closer there's a lot of like housing projects are happening still so that's really interesting it's definitely like these are all like the burbs that are being built out here and they all have been built specifically through the infrastructure grants that happened for this tournament it's crazy it just transformed this country but a lot of these these houses out here are houses for like migrant workers and stuff. Um, a lot of them don't live in the cities, but a lot of them now work in the cities, so they have big long commutes to get to work. And then they come back out here, places like this where they live. There, imagine getting some shade for a second. I might just hang out here for a moment, finish this up, but this is crazy. This is like a completely different experience from anything else. Oh, and then there's these two rad dudes from Colombia. Hola amigo. Hola. Hola amigos. Hola. 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 Saludos. 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 Yeah. So this has been this has been awesome. How's it going, man? This has been absolutely awesome. Looking forward to the match. It's gonna be Qatar Senegal, and uh, expecting probably a pretty big Senegalese win. We'll see what happens. Just outside Al Tumala Stadium, just to give you an idea how massive this thing is. Wales just dropped a 2 0 result to Iran, so that makes my Iran USA match ticket that much more uh, more valuable. That, that match is going to be a genuine World War III bloodbath. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, we're going to head inside. I'll just take a few quick little vids there, and then it'll be match time.
Senegalese supporters are awesome. Cameroonians were good, but I think the Senegalese are a little bit better. Senegal just came out to warm up. Also, I think this stadium, I think Altumama must have been sponsored by the Mexican Federation or something. Just looking at those seat colors. Hey, I'm here with Rob, I'm here with Bilal. I don't know if this audio is coming through at all, so it's starting to fill up. Getting ready for Qatar, Senegal. But it's it's Senegal! Senegal! That probably just, that panic probably just made my dad sick. Hopefully it's a good match. But I can tell you right now, my Iran USA ticket just became way more valuable. In case you ever wondered, here is the tr uh, nutrition fact information for a hot dog. Here we are on the walk uh, after the Qatar Senegal match. We uh, got to watch Qatar score their inaugural goal at the World Cup. You might be able to hear in the background there's uh, evening prayers happening. I caught the oh there. So we're just uh, I'm on my way to the transfer bus that goes from stadium to stadium. Rob's on his way back to the metro to head back to the kind of the village where all the Canada folks at Lee help set up or staying at. But. Uh, Next, uh, next set of videos are going to be, uh, or the next video, I guess, is going to be kind of pre-match of England USA, and after the Iran uh, result over Wales, this next game has got tons and tons of uh, importance for the Americans. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. So we'll see you there. Looks like they must hire the same asphalting company that does all the road work for Saskatoon because it's all chipping up and stuff here too.